Today's lesson is called Facts About Bats. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Roger, and today again we're going to continue talking about bats. Those、uh, semi birds, those kind of birds that fly in the sky. Although I don't think they're actually birds per se, but they're similar to birds in that they can fly. But they're also very different. Yes, bats might not be as pretty as some birds are, but that doesn't mean they're not great. Bats can do a lot of really cool things. They can use sonar. They can fly super fast. And you know what? They're also very nice creatures. Now. They might not be nice to humans. They might not be nice to the animals that they're feeding on. But bats take care of one another. Bats are very caring and generous. Yes,、yeah, some bat species share food with other bats when the food supplies are low there. Or let's say a bat is hurt and can't get food for themselves. The other bats that they're hanging out with, let's say, will actually help them get some food. And I kid, but. When bats sleep, they do hang upside down. So, I don't think bats are social creatures in that they hang with each other, but they might hang together when they're sleeping. Ha ha ha! How funny! All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But when we come back, we'll be learning some more cool and fun facts about bats. Contrary to what people might believe, bats aren't lone creatures that always hide in caves and have no effect on us. They make up at least 20% of all the mammal species on Earth, and their activities help us and our ecosystem in many ways. Hello, 之后常接名词或 wh 引导的名词子句，例如 contrary to expectations, Nick is performing well as the project manager. 跟预期的相反 ，Nick 担任专案经理表现很好。另外补充一个相关片语 in contrast， 表示相较之下，用于做出区别，但不竟然是对立的情况。可以说 in contrast to his brother who is always cleanly shaved. Tony has a mustache. 和总是将胡子刮得很干净的哥哥相反 ，Tony 留着胡子。再来，我们看到一个名词 mammal， 指哺乳动物，像是 Some people believe dolphins are fish, but they are actually mammals. 有些人认为海豚是鱼类，但它们其实是哺乳类动物。再来，我们看到单字 ecosystem， 这个字是名词，指生态系统。举例来说。Both air and water pollution can affect the ecosystem. 空气污染跟水污染都会影响生态系统。Let's begin today's lesson by talking about the first paragraph here. It says, contrary to what people might believe, bats aren't lone creatures that always hide in caves and have no effect on us. So we begin this paragraph with the phrase. Contrary to, which basically means that a lot of people believe one thing, but actually that's not true. A lot of people think that bats are lone creatures and that they always hide in caves and that they have no effect on us. Nope, that's not true. Contrary to what people believe, they are not lone creatures. They don't hide in caves all the time, and they do not have no effect on us, or they actually do have an effect on us. Or as an example, using this phrase, contrary to. Contrary to my expectations, the religious man turned out to be a real jerk. I thought he was going to be a real nice guy because he was so religious, but I got to know him, and later I found out, gee, this guy is a real bad apple. Hmm, that's a sad story there, Roger. Let's read some more about bats. Bats will make us feel better. So, bats apparently have no effect on us, right? Wrong. Get this. Bats not only affect us, but there are a lot of bats out there. Okay, there are a lot of bats to be had on planet Earth. Get this: they bats make up at least twenty percent of all the mammal species on Earth, 
and their activities help us and our ecosystem in many ways. And yes, you heard me right here. They make up at least 20% of all the mammal species on Earth. So if you look at mammal species, one out of five of every mammal species is going to be a bat species. That is a staggering statistic. I thought it might have been like 5%. Tops. That would be the biggest thing that I would think, the biggest number I would put on the number of bat species out there. But here, 20% of all the mammal species on Earth are bat species. How about that? Yes, they make up this amount. They do. Mammals, of course, are animals that give live birth to their young and provide milk for their young. So that's a quite a big figure there. 20% of all mammals in the world are actually bats. And of course, there are many different species of bats as well. And their activities help us and our ecosystem in many ways. Yes, indeed, they are a part of the cycle of life. They're part of the food chain or they're part of the ecosystem. System. Without bats, we would be goners. So you better have a new appreciation for them. Hopefully, we can help change your mind as our lesson continues. So let's move on now to the next part of our lesson. We'll listen to it first. To begin with, bats help humans with pest control. For example, about 100 million Mexican free-tailed bats live in Texas, where a pest known as the corn earworm moth. Causes serious damage to farmers' crops, but thanks to the bats, which can eat billions of insects every night, the number of these moths has been greatly reduced. In fact, bats around the world help save more than one billion U.S. dollars a year in crop damage and pesticide use for corn farmers alone. Third part, we see the word pest. 指破坏农作物的有害昆虫或小动物，例如 ，This spray will keep mice and other pests from entering your home. 这种喷雾会阻止老鼠和其他害虫入侵你家。另外，这个字除了上面的意思，还可以指讨厌的人。可以说 ，Teresa says that her little brother is a pest, but she still loves him. Teresa 说她的小弟很烦人，但她还是爱他。All right, folks. Let's go ahead and move on to the second part of today's lesson. To begin with, bats help humans with pest control. Now, here when we're talking about a pest, we're talking about an animal that we don't like. It's an animal that bothers us, irritates us, hurts us slightly, and that we want to get rid of. Cockroaches are pests. Okay, mice. Are pests, so on and so forth, and apparently bats can help to control pests. Yes, we should remember though that pests usually are bugs, but they could also be bothersome animals that attack crops and destroy cows and pigs and stuff like that. So of course, sometimes you think、uh, there are too many bugs out there, and because of climate change, bugs are kind of moving around the world in different places. I think even some scientists are saying that、uh, bug. Populations are declining, but that's another subject here.、Uh, we don't want to have too many bugs in the world, so bats help with that. They help control the number of bugs and pests. For example, about 100 million Mexican free-tailed bats live in Texas. Where a pest known as the corn earworm moth causes serious damage to farmers' crops. So again, this is a species of bat called the Mexican free-tailed bat, and lots of them, 100 million of them, live in Texas, the great state of Texas. And also in Texas, there's this corn earworm moth. A moth is、uh, like a, sort of like a butterfly, but different. And I guess they、uh, eat lots of crops there. The bats eat the moths, and the farmers are happy. Yeah, moths. Very often, they're the butterfly-like insects that come out at night, and they're attracted to lights. Okay, very often you'll see these butterfly-like creatures swarming around street lights and stuff like that in the middle of the night. Those are probably going to be moths. Now, moths very often do hang around lights, but apparently they can also be pests. They can eat crops, and that's not a good thing. But hey, 
Bats to the rescue, everyone. In Texas, apparently, there are millions and millions of these Mexican bats that have been brought to live in Texas to take care of this moth problem that they have there. Yes, the bats eat these corn earworm moths, and if they weren't there, these moths would cause all sorts of damage to farmers' crops. So, yay, bats. Way to go. Well done. Yes, but thanks to the bats, our article continues, which can eat billions of insects every night, the number of these moths has been greatly reduced. So there you go. You've got some numbers. 100 million free-tailed bats can eat billions of insects every night. So if you want to control a pest issue that you're having, get as many bats as you can, and they will take care of that problem for you. No problemo. Uh, you do have to be careful, though, because uh, bats do carry rabies. So, yeah, they're good in some ways and bad in others. So don't let them bite you, and you should be okay. Let them bite the insects instead. So, again, we're talking about the Mexican free-tailed bats in Texas, where they kill lots of moths, and then the farmers can grow their crops much more easily because of that. In fact, bats around the world help save more than $1 billion U.S. dollars a year in crop damage and pesticide use for corn farmers alone. So pesticides, of course, are special chemicals that kill bugs. Hey, the farmers don't have to use those pesticides if the bats are killing all the bugs. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? That is super amazing. And it's also kind of staggering. Think about that. Every night there in Texas, bats eat like a billion insects. That's every night. That's so cool. Oh, my gosh. All right, everyone, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away when we come back. We'll be wrapping up our article on bats. Furthermore, bats are important for restoring rainforests and plants that feed diverse wildlife species. More than 500 types of plants rely on bats to pollinate their flowers or to spread their seeds. These include mango, banana, durian, and guava trees. If bats were to disappear, our world would be worse off. These animals are critical to our ecosystem, so let's look beyond their bad reputation and see them for what they are truly amazing creatures. Diverse,这个字是形容词,指多样的,多变化的。举例来说, farms that grow a diverse selection of crops are less prone to risk. 种植多样作物的农场所冒的风险较低。另外,补充这个字的名词,diversity, D-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y, diversity, 指多样性, 可以说, this gallery displays a diversity of work from many different artists. 这间画廊展示许多不同艺术家的多样性的作品. 接下来我们看到名词, wildlife, 这个字为不可数, 用来指野生动物, 像是, the organization's purpose is to help protect African wildlife. 这个组织的目的是帮助非洲的野生动物。最后我们看到一个单字, pollinate, 这个字是动词, 有给点点点授粉的意思。像是, bees and butterflies pollinated the flowers in the garden. 蜜蜂跟蝴蝶为花园中的花朵授粉。Okay, so let's continue talking about the benefits of bats. Of course, as you know, bats are quite common here in Taiwan. And it's also nice that uh, here in uh, Taiwan and other Chinese cultures that bats are revered because of their name, Ban Fu, because of the Fu there. That means fortune, good luck, and stuff like that. So bats are considered lucky creatures, and they are featured in Chinese paintings and things like that. And, of course, we also know that bats are beneficial for farmers, and they can eat all those bugs and stuff like that. 
etc., etc. So indeed, here in the final part, it says: Furthermore, in addition, also bats are important for restoring rainforests and plants that feed diverse wildlife species. So these are some other benefits of bats. So furthermore, just means also in addition. We could also talk about this as well. They can help to restore rainforests. Of course, as you know, rainforests like in Brazil or Indonesia are being cut down for various reasons, and I guess bats can kind of、uh, help bring back those rainforests. They can restore them. If you restore something, you try to return something to its original condition. Like if you buy an old car, like an old 1967 Chevrolet Corvair in really rotten shape, you can work on it and restore that car and sell it and make a fortune. That's true. And my sister actually has a really cool job. She lives in New York City, and she restores old paintings. Yes, my sister is an art restorer. She restores old paintings. What does that mean? These paintings are old and dingy. They might be covered with all sorts of dirt and stuff like that. What she does is she cleans them up. So that they look like new once again. That's what restoring artwork is all about. Now, bats—they might not be able to restore paintings, but they can restore rainforests. Yes, human beings have been plundering rainforests for a long time, been chopping down the trees and burning stuff and killing the animals. And apparently, it does take a while for these jungles, these rainforests, to grow back and to be vibrant once again. But guess what? Bats are really good when it comes to restoring rainforests, or I should say, they are very important if you want to restore rainforests. That's right. Let's talk about this in detail. What happens here is that more than 500 types of plants rely on bats to pollinate their flowers. Or to spread their seeds. So, of course, as you know, pollination is when bees, or in this case, bats, take pollen, which is hawthorn, from flower to flower, so that those flowers can grow and produce their fruit. So, indeed, that's what pollination is all about. The bats pollinate the flowers of certain plants so that they can grow the fruit, and they can also spread the seeds of those plants, so they keep on growing. And these include mango, banana, durian, and guava trees. And hey, those、uh, fruits there are readily available here in Taiwan. So the next time you have a mango or a guava, remember you can thank a bat for that. A bat probably had some hand in getting you that fruit because yes, they are pollinators. How about that, everyone? Let's wrap everything up. If bats were to disappear, our world. Would be worse off. Yes, if there were no bats around, our world might just fall apart. They are just that important when it comes to our ecosystem. And yes, they do represent like one fifth of all the mammal species on Earth. So if they were to die out entirely, that would be an unbelievable extinction type event. It would be so. Yes, indeed, we should respect those bats. Don't let them disappear. We're better with them. We're better off with bats. These animals are critical to our ecosystem. They're very important. They're very key. So let's look beyond their bad reputation as vampire bats and see them for what they are. Truly amazing creatures. Again, I don't think I need to convince people here in Taiwan of that. Everyone here knows that bats are revered creatures, and we should see them for what they are. Truly amazing creatures, indeed. We all love bats, don't we? We do. They are critical to our survival on Earth. They're just that important or vital. All right, everyone. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't worry, don't fret. The Chinese teacher is on her way. Hello, 同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。课文第二部分提到，蝙蝠可以帮助人类防治虫害。那多亏了他们帮忙吃掉害虫，他们帮人们省下许多农作物损害和使用杀虫剂的费用。好，文中用到 pesticide 这个字表示杀虫剂。那我们来学习它的字根 p e s t 这个部分表示害虫或是有害的动物。那么字尾 c i d e， 它表示杀害、杀害者。
或是导致死亡的事物。合在一起 ，pesticide 就是指说杀掉害虫的东西，那也就是杀虫剂除害的药物喽。好，顺便补充几个有相同字尾的单字。第一个是 herbicide, h e r b i c i d e. 它是由 h e r b 表示香草、药草、草本植物，然后后面搭配 c i d e 来表达致死物、致命之物，合在一起 herbicide 就表示除草剂。好，第二个字 homicide。H O M I C I D E 这个字，它的字首 H O M I 是来自拉丁文 H O M E 这部分表示人或是人类。那么 C I D E 表示杀害，把它合在一起 ，homicide 就表示谋杀或是杀人。第三个字 suicide S U I C I D E 它的字首 S U I 表示 of oneself 自己的。那么 C I D E 表示杀害，合在一起 suicide 就是自杀喽。好，那么第四个 genocide G E N O C I D E， 它的字首 G E N O 表示种族，那么 C I D E 表示杀害，合在一起 genocide 就表示种族灭绝、大屠杀。读到课文最后一部分，有一个句子，他说 ：If bats were to disappear, our world would be worse off. 要是蝙蝠消失了，我们的世界会变得更糟。那这个句子是用到与未来事实相反的假设句。好，它的句型是 if 主词 were 再加不定词 to v 逗号主词 would should could 或是 might 再加原形动词，这表示要是怎么样怎么样的话，怎么样怎么样。那这样的句型它其实是结合了假设语气以及 be 动词搭配不定词的用法。be 动词搭配不定词，表示将要怎么样，然后结合了假设语气之后，就会变成 if 主词 were 再加不定词，这是用来表达未来发生的可能性非常低，或是极不可能发生的情况。举例来说 ，if they were to have children。They would need to move to a bigger house. 要是他们生小孩的话，他们就必须搬进更大的房子住了。这就代表这个情况呢，不太可能发生。可是他只是做一个假设。好，另外提醒同学们 ，if 主词加上 were 再加不定词这样的句型呢，也可以用在委婉建议或是去试探语气的情境里面。那这时候它的主要子句的助动词常常会用 could 来表达。举例来说。If you were to help me, I could get off work early. 要是你帮我忙，我就可以早点下班了。好，那这句话呢，就是在委婉的试探对方的意愿，看看对方愿不愿意帮忙，让你早点下班。好，那么以上是今天重点整理，我们来回顾简单字吧。Mammal, a new species of mammal called the cat fox has been identified on the French island of Corsica. Pest. House mice, a common pest, can carry diseases that can be passed on to humans. Furthermore, this plane model is very expensive, and furthermore, it has a major safety concern. Restore. The organization cleaned up the river and restored it to its natural state. Wildlife. Park visitors are reminded not to touch or feed any of the wildlife. Critical. Reading and writing skills are critical to success in modern life. The fact that bats make up at least 20% of all the mammal species on Earth—that's amazing to me. There are many more bats on planet Earth than I ever imagined. Well, you know, we didn't talk about it in today's lesson, but I was surprised to learn a couple of weeks ago that there's actually a cave on the northeast coast near Rayfong where the bats come out at dusk. So if you go there at the right time, you can see thousands of bats flying out of this cave. It is truly phenomenal. Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But as always. 
we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See, See you, you next time. time.